statement about the play of defense? And I love the question. Uh, feel like they came out, flew around, uh, tried to execute for the most part. Uh, you know, everybody trying to do their one eleven. Felt like it was a physical game. South Carolina State did a good job of uh, getting off the ball, and we matched their intensity. Just want to, you know, try to continue that throughout this weekend. How mad was the defense that they, did, that they didn't get to shut out, and how big is that as far as motivation for this team? Uh, you know, we was upset, you know, but it's one of them deals where we take it and continue to grow from it, learn how to uh, finish things the right way. I don't know if they was, you know, more upset than me. Uh, but, you know, they was a little uh, upset, but we, it was all right. We got the win, and that was the most important part about it. And that was just about uh, coming out, making corrections, and trying to get better from it. What impressed you most, given the fact that it was almost a shutout and just everything that they did in general? Just the physicality of the game. Uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't want to allow them to knock us around and, and, and uh, push us off the ball. I felt like the uh, D-line did a good job of coming out and setting that tone, and the backers did a good job of uh, filling them gaps. And when they did get out on the perimeter, the DBs came up and they was, you know, actually putting pad to a uh, ball carrier. And that was, you know, impressive to see. And if we continue that and get 11 hats to the ball, we can uh, continue to get better. You only allowed them about a little over 50 yards at halftime. I know you had to feel good about that 200 yards of total offense by the end of the game, referring to South Carolina State. Uh, what would you say was the thing that worked the most that went really, really well for the defense? Uh, really, you know, these guys have been working all summer. And we, as a coaching staff, then threw a bunch of looks at them. And then it's getting to the point now where uh, it's kind of becoming muscle memory. We want them to be able to fix problems and see it, you know, on the field before we get to the sideline and have to make them adjustments. They did a good job of recognizing the pitcher and uh, going out and uh, getting everybody lined up to understand what they was about to get and what they was about to see. So it really just started in the classroom. That's the most impressive part to me, being able to take that knowledge from the classroom to the practice field, to the game field and see it show up and be able to call plays out before uh, they actually get them. And I thought that that's what allowed us to play fast on Saturday. So just, you know, capability to learn and, and know what's coming their way. And pass rush really was uh, giving the quarterback fits all game. Was that a point of emphasis for you guys? And how do you feel about that execution? Always. Uh, like I said, I'm the D-line coach. Uh, we take pride in, in big men leading the way. Uh, and they came out and they set the tone. And like we tell them, you know, if they're, if they're getting off the ball, little guys ain't got no choice but to fly around too because it become contagious. Uh, so we want to, you know, continue to do that and, uh, you know, make them do life just a little bit easier. It's just one game, but how much can you teach off of this film? A lot. A lot. Uh, you know, we had a couple of things we got to clean up. And uh, like I say, about finishing and uh, – gaps and I mean I guess what fitting gaps and things of that nature but it's a lot that we can improve off of uh, and we're going to improve off of so we just continue to uh you know again preach our 111 and execute our assignment at a high level that's what we want to do like I said we're, we're striving to get uh perfect plays and the perfect play to me is having all 11 doing the right thing on that given play so if we can uh once we get to that then we know we made it. But again, that's a hard thing to do to get nine men on the same page doing the right thing at the right time. So that's what we're striving for. You limited a good quarterback in Corey Fields from throwing the ball efficiently. He didn't have much room to run, really running for his life with the pass rush. But now you get a, a quarterback in Jeremy Musa who can pretty much throw it anywhere on the field. Uh, what challenges have you, uh, does that present to defense and what have you told the defense in? He's a smart quarterback. He know where to go. He know where to go to the ball. He's seen a lot of different looks. Uh, so again, we're gonna have to execute, uh, get after it, and, and win our one-on-one -on -one pass rushes when we get it. And DB's gonna have to be able to, uh, you know, kind of disguise things and come out and, and play fast and be able to lock their man down. Uh, because again, you know, he made quick decisions. He's not holding on to the ball long. And uh, you know, kudos to him. He's been playing a long time and seen a lot of different uh, defenses. So. It's just up to us to come out again and just execute and uh, continue to play hard and you know, kind of see what happens. Is there anyone in particular that stood out to you on how they performed in the first game? Uh, it was a lot. It was good to see Tim Stewart get out there, you know, get that interception. A uh, kid that's been working his tail off, uh, high energy guy, great guy, always smiling. Uh, it was good to see Jeremiah and, and uh, uh, Double D. Uh, get out there and do the things that they did, you know, just controlling the line of scrimmage. But, you know, overall, it was just 
a good feeling to see the whole defense just fly around. Uh, and like I say, that's the, that's the uh, message we're preaching, just work and uh, good things that happen. So hopefully we can, you know, continue that throughout the season. I heard Tim Stewart acted out, pretending to be you last week, I think. So maybe a transfer. Uh, he was actually Coach Taylor, and, Coach and, Taylor. and Stanley Cooks was, was me. Okay. But it was, a, it was a good deal to see. It's kind of funny. What's it like seeing like a freshman wide receiver, you know, in his first game and saying, hey, the offense looking to you guys and seeing y'all set the tone. What, what can I do for you guys going forward, like you said, knowing that you guys are really the tone setters for this program? It's really complimentary football. Uh, you know, all three phases are going to feed off each other. You know, just like they're feeding off us, we're feeding off them. To see uh, Irv get that big run. I'm one of his biggest cheerleaders in the box while I'm sitting there watching the game. Uh, so, you know, it, it's one of them deals where we're all feeding off each other. So, you know, literally, he know, they helping us strive to, you know, go as we go. So, that's kind of it. Coach, thank you. No problem. Appreciate you all.